Pascal very nice to meet you uh, I would like first to congratulate you on I don't know beautifully uh, finished season uh, you have three victories this year in testing season in, with a beautiful car that's behind us so yeah, it appears that as soon as a car is quick, it always uh, seems beautiful. So we are very happy and we find it extremely uh, beautiful at the moment. Yeah, it has been quite a remarkable achievement. Three races on one on six participation. That's very good. And uh, we can even add that um, uh, during the six races we have uh, attended, our car has been faster on the track than the opposition every time on six races. So it's something which uh, has not always been noticed. We won three times, but the three races we did not win actually on the track. Uh, during the time we were participating, we were faster than the opposition. So for the first and testing year, it was much better than anticipated. So what's your standpoint on that? Yeah, I think we, it's, it's clear that we, uh, we have overpassed our, uh, uh, our objectives and our anticipation. We had uh, uh, what we thought were objective, um, ambitious but realistic objective. We wanted to, uh, to score one pole position and to score one podium. This was for us at the same time ambitious but realistic. Obviously we have done better than that. Um, yeah, it's difficult to uh, to uh, to explain uh, why we have delivered uh, much better results than expected. Uh, probably uh, because our opposition has underestimated what we would be doing. But it's difficult to elaborate more on that. Yes, uh, but the part of the of that is also the the, the another French comp. Um, French company went from the uh, went out from the competition Peugeot. So you went from the silent third party that would try to maybe score uh, pole position. Win you 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 became a main contender and the primary uh, concern of ACO to to keep the championship and world championship alive. Yeah, initially our 2012 season was meant to be uh, a learning and a training year and uh, very quickly entered into a championship attack. Uh, so this was, I would say, a very good push. What was not uh, too nice for us was, of course, beyond, I would say, the social aspect of the Peugeot withdrawal, which is really uh, and is still a, a major uh, drama. Uh, for us, it was more difficult to face only one uh, competitor. With two competitors with more cars, uh, it would have been, uh, we were thinking it would be easier for us to, uh, to, to learn and to, uh, to, I would say, to avoid uh, some of the big pressure we, uh, we got during all the season. But at the end, everything went well. This pressure has been mostly positive, so we cannot complain now. Okay, so you, you look like you're ready for uh, next season. So, looking back uh, to 2012, uh, what are the plans or what you think you would like to have uh, in 2013? Do you plan for more cars? Do you plan for more drivers? Uh, I mean, we saw that you are tough opposition, so it's time pr probably for uh, Toyota Japan to acknowledge that in terms of budget or something else. For sure, ideally, we would like to, uh, to put together a proper attack to, uh, to next year's season and next year Le Mans. Uh, for that, of course, we would need to, uh, to have a multi-car attack, especially in Le Mans. Uh, usually, when you want to do well, you need at least three cars. Well, this is a dream. At the moment, we are still discussing our next year budget and probably we will go for um, a smaller amplitude uh, program. This smaller than ideal. <laughs> okay, so to get back to the your F, F1 part of the career, what is the difference between pressure in F1 and uh, endurance and what is the difference in budget in F1 and endurance budget? Uh, it's, these are two, two different worlds, but uh, uh, for sure endurance budget cannot be compared with, uh, with uh, F1 budget, but it doesn't mean that the 
pressure is proportionally lower. I would say as soon as you participate to a race series, the pressure is on. And in our case, we do represent Toyota now exactly as uh, we were representing Toyota in F1. So the pressure for us is really the same, perceived the same. And uh, yeah, we, we cannot consider that now we are going uh, uh, lightly to the races and uh, whatever the result, we are happy. Absolutely not. We went through this season with a lot of pressure, which has nothing to do really with the fact that the budget involved are lower now. Okay, so pressure is the same and <laughs> budgets are not the same. So times are different. So I, I suspect that endurance team will probably get more public notice now that Toyota Hybrid, Hybrid is powering the, uh, the, the program and the, the cars. So do you think that Toyota would enter into the endurance championship without uh, hybrid power? No, this certainly not. Uh, one of the reasons why Toyota came back uh, to endurance races, to Le Mans, uh, is that the new regulation in place since 2011 opened the door to real powerful hybrid system. So this is the main reason why, why we are back. So without hybrid system, for sure, we would not be there. Okay, so regarding the drivers, you had uh, mixed mix of drivers that were from Peugeot, some are, uh, Nicolas Pierre went from Oreca, you had Kazuki Nakajima. Uh, what are the plans for the another season? You Do you plan to keep the same driver lineup uh, or, or something else? This season we had a two cars attack in, uh, in Le Mans and we had selected with great care at the time six drivers. Uh, all six proved to be extremely good. Uh, we have been very pleased with, uh, with the two driver lineup. So uh, we are heading towards 2013. At the moment, the plan would be to have uh, as well two cars. So yes, we can say that we are complete. Our driver team is complete. We plan to continue with uh, the drivers we had. Okay. And for 2014, there is a big change. And what do you plan now for the uh, for the year that will bring a big difference in terms of mechanics and uh, engine de development and everything else yeah 2014 is uh, designed to be really a major departure from current regulation now in 14 uh, it will be uh, an energy race it means uh, the main principle of the regulation is to, to allocate a given amount of energy and then the one which makes the best usage of this, uh, this energy wins. It's a major change, which impacts, of course, the way we are going to approach the combustion engine, the way we are going to approach the hybrid system. Uh, we are starting to work on 2014, not in terms of detailed design and so on, but we are working on the concept of uh, what the car will be, what the combustion engine will be, and what the hybrid system will be. So it's starting now, basically. How much do you, you know, influence those uh, decisions that ACO make? For future regulation like 2014 and for a discussion about current regulations like the balance of performance between gasoline and diesel, uh, they are processes, basically. There, is, uh, there are several processes in place uh, with meetings with working groups. For example, one of the very important working group dealing with regulation is a technical working group. The next meeting is in a couple of days. We are definitely on board. It means we are participating to this meeting. Uh, we are one of the team which uh, I would say ACO and the FIA consult. So yeah, we are part of it and we, we are able to contribute to these, um, to these regulation discussions and to these decisions.